The bells, the drums of war, they are ringing once again. This time in another timeline, time frame, time slot, age, in another age. We are now playing in EU4 and as you can see, the world has transferred over. Hispania still exists, France exists, Burgundy and Aquitaine exists. Aquitaine. Toulouse is a vassal of them. We have Ireland almost completely united. We have Scotland, we have Norway and the entire mess that Eastern Europe is in every single Crusader Kings game. Because nobody gets strong except for, you know, the Mongols. And we also have the Byzantines who are also quite strong. Uh, Ali got turned into Egypt. The HRE, if we take a look, is a nice little blob. And Augsburg is actually the Holy Roman Emperor. Although I'm not sure for how long they will keep the emperorship. There's a few decent electors. Um, Bohemia could be a nice uh, big player. Um, Swabia is also pretty big. Same as same for Bavaria and also Carinthia, Carizia. I mean, I suppose Switzerland will definitely be a very interesting game to look at. And Hungary is actually pretty historical. I mean, they're a little smaller, but all and I mean that part. But all in all. Um, I think that looks pretty good. As I've already mentioned, this mega campaign will not have the standard rule set of playing as one nation. So I recorded this footage half a year ago and I also edited it a half a year ago. And just in case I have not mentioned it, we will be switching from nation to nation. This is a special rule set. And then we will also attempt to defeat the previous nation. So. We have played as uh, Hispania or Andalusia and now in EU4 we will attempt to defeat this nation by playing another nation and then in Wiki2 we will attempt to defeat the nation that we'll play in EU4 with another nation and so on and so forth. Femboy Tomboy is a 556 ruler. They have devout Catholicism. <laughs> yes! <laughs> A Sony nation with devout Catholicism. That's why I did not want them to switch to Hispania. I wanted them to stay as Tomboy, Granada, whatever the fuck, Andalusia. I don't know. Okay, they have yearly papal influence, colonists, naval force limit. Yeah, they just have these Spanish things. I actually loaded into the game. They have 40k troops and are still making six ducats a month. I mean, sure, you add advisors and such, but they are in a very strong position to be a major power here. Again, I'm very interested in the France skirmish and also the HRE if something will happen there. And of course, England is also a very interesting case. Actually, I just looked at it. The White Roos, they have a lot of stuff spread throughout. I'm also interested to see the uh, Mongol Empire. I mean, they still have Temujin. I don't know how he's still alive. Okay. He's another one. I don't think they will manage to hold all of this land. As for me, I thought about playing in France after seeing this skirmish. But I want to let these guys stay the way they are. So instead, I will not play in Europe, in Europa Universalis. <laughs> and I'm not gonna play here. I mean, I mean, playing as Congo was very fun. I've, I've made a campaign there. That, like, Africa can be fun. Instead, I want to take a look at the Asian continent. Now we could play as Japan, one of the Japanese daimyos, or the Shogun, and ascend to the throne that way. But, I want to play in this little Japanese piece of land and just chill for a little. I think I'm gonna 
go for Brunei. Um, and then just we'll colonize this nice little piece of Indonesia. <coughs> Australia. Maybe a little bit of Siam. We'll see where the game takes us. The first thing I need to do is do, 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 turn fog of war. Actually, not fog of war. Uh, TI it is. Right. You can turn fog of war on again. I don't want to cheat, but I want to, from time to time, take a look at what's happening in Europe. So I'll just turn off TI, which is an unfair advantage. Actually, what the fuck? I've never taken a little look at the um, flag of Brunei before. Some guys were very creative there. I think first we're gonna do some estate stuff. You can also take the religious diplomats. Um, okay, the religious diplomats would be kind of a waste, let's be honest. So I'm not gonna take them and I think we're good. Diplomacy, offer alliance. Send you an alliance, send you an alliance, there we go. And then I'll take this one. You'll rival Masha Pahit. Perfect, I'll take you. And Khmer. Uh, don't really want to deal with them soon, but sure. Let's get the long time rival bonus rolling. I think mysticism is the one that I want. No legalism. Uh, I'll take the morale. Diplo rep. Okay, I would need to convert a lot here, but I also have burger loans running, so let's take the inflation reduction. Oh god, that's a lot of missions we have here. Uh, let me see my army. We do have two horses. Let me fix that right now. There we go. Mm. Sure, let's go to force limit. That's a bit weird. Do we get a settler from anything? We get settler increases and ship stuff. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm playing a sh uh, naval nation, so that's to be expected. Uh, let's hunt pirates. Um, that's my note, right? Yeah. Uh, go to port during war. Protect trade. Go to port during war. Five speed. Oh, and much apart, much apart has fallen. <laughs> and we are not gonna marry because we are going to marry. There we go. You will marry me, not I will marry you. And I will also do one special, semi special thing. Um, I will try not to use Mercen. What the fuck? That's not a name. You just smashed your head on the. Ooh. Keyboard. That's a nice leader. Um, yeah, I will try not to use mercenaries. I, I think when you use mercenaries, the game just gets so fucking easy, honestly. Feels, in my opinion, it feels way too cheap. How oh, I so want to just keep a look at. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Wait, Austria exists? Austria exists? Huh. Cool, they have formed. They... Ooh. Actually, that's that's a little bit Austrian. To just gain a random piece of land somewhere. We can fabricate a claim on this one, please. Okay. 23k versus my 13k. You are allied to Kutai. Okay. This would be much easier. Yep. Uh, let me just move my army over here. Let's lower fleet maintenance. Let's raise army maintenance. And then I think we're gonna go to war. Woohoo, we won the war. Okay, like... These are not names. I'm sorry, they just are not names. With all due respect. How much would it cost to annex all of you? 37, okay. And 300, oh my god, it's a lot. 
There we go. Thank you very much. Back home. And take all of you. There we go. That's not cool. I'm dead. And we got a disaster. Cool. Because we have the negative stability. Peasant's Wall. Also, let me do this. Bintulu. It's not my capital. Base production. What are you producing? Fish. That's kind of cringe. Okay. Let's let's go for this one. I actually really like this one. And... Bum, 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 bum. Let's piss a few people off. What the fuck have you done with Krum? I will let you guys siege together. You guys defend the homeland. Actually, a lot of these things seem nice for Brunei. Influence. Even maritime. Trade. Exploration. Should I go for expansion first? I think expansion is the play, then I can go for influence or trade afterwards. I really don't like picking an admin tech, an uh, admin group early on, but I think it's the play for. Like, I need a merchant. Yeah. And take a piece of land. Interesting, interesting. Can we also. We can also pillage the capital for. Nothing. Can even take two pieces of land, but uh, I think I'm fine with one. I mean, I can also do that and then tell you, tell you to fuck off. Take all of this. Give me this. What does Europe say to our current situation? <coughs> I kind of wanted you to not expand in here. Do you have the... All oh, right, I can't see that. This is not Hoi 4. <laughs> I mean, I can tax switch over, but I... I'll just assume they have the Spanish missions as well. Okay, Ireland is cleaning up a little bit though. And Bohemia got bigger, Ostfalen got bigger. Lausitz got smaller. Groß Poland still exists. But Prussia... Uh, Prussia is doing a little bit worse. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look good for the Empire. Yeah, we'll... We'll piece them out. There we go. Oh god, I don't like this one. I have other problems now. If problems, I mean war, and there we go. Ming would join, but... Actually, I don't think... Uh, yeah, okay, they could do something with their ships. They probably wouldn't attack me, but their ships would just blockade me and that would just suck. You build a new... I can't? Fuck! God damn it. I just wanted to see if I could go from... If I could go to this one if I went around, but... Oh well. I suppose the natives just... That's bad! I won't be able to siege this. Wait, what? Why? No, that's disgusting. How am I 7th grade power? I don't own anything. Huh. Okay. I suppose I'll just accept this and move on. You here. You here. Fuck, it was here. There we go. Had to. Uh, oh my god, I just realized how purple my. <laughs> oh god, my hands! Because of the pom grenade, everything is just purple. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> crotch shot. There we go. Like... <coughs> Kitchen looked like I murdered someone. 
And my hands look mm, like I just arrived from an 80s rave or something. I guess I'll send someone here. And keep that in the back of my mind. Oh, no! I can't do that! Can I... Can I ally you? You're on... Well... Oh my god, there are so many forts in Hispania. Okay, um... The thing is... They have... They probably have troops here. Actually, no, they don't. Wait, what did you declare on? Uh, for... Palawan. Palawan? Wait, what? Huh? Why would you... Okay, I just... I don't wanna end this, but I just wanna see what would you want. Yeah, you would want... Uh... The African colonies. No, 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 no. Not my islands. You can take, you t can take uh, South Africa, sure, but not my islands. Okay, I'm winning. I'm winning the war. We can stop now. Um, can you? Uh -huh. I beat you. Actually, because the goal is to take Palawan, I, I think I can win. I mean, probably not take anything, but we can probably just not do anything here. And we would win simply because they won't take Palawan. I mean, I, again, I don't see them coming here. They shouldn't have the supply yet. Which is, it's so weird that they declared for Palawan. Oh no. Negative stab. I mean, I have zero stab, but I don't like having a zero stab. I think I'm just gonna go for admin tech 10 though. And then I'll stab up. Like the, the positive stab for me are just so good. Which is why I like running around with two stab, but I don't have the points for it. Okay, I have no fucking clue what they are. What was the AI thinking? I think they just saw that I was close to their borders and so they declared on me, but it, it doesn't make sense that they... <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh my god, I'm... <laughs> I'll take South Africa for... <gasps> we could take... We could take this piece. We could take Brazil. <laughs> I think I'll just keep this plate. I'll just keep this piece here and uh, colonize this part. <laughs> I mean, that would be fucking hype. We are getting a little bit of religion here. Not that it really damages the HRE, I mean, they don't even have the first Reich skill form. Okay, yeah, there's nothing to save there. Um, I'm gonna go for quality here. I really like quality in this uh, case. I could take this piece. <laughs> I can actually take stuff, that's so cool! <laughs> this is amazing! And, uh, can I take... I could take war reps. <laughs> okay, I can't take war reps on an island, but... There we go. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. No! Well, they can't siege it out anyway because they don't have enough people. <laughs> that's stupid. Oh my god. God, what the fuck is Prussia doing? Okay, they have Lithuania. No! I thought they had a, had Lithuania as a vassal, but it's just... No, they just... This is a mess? Allied to Sweden. And allied to Lithuania. Supporting the independence of... Ruthenia. Oh god, Ruthenia is a mess. I thought this would... 
I thought Prussia was uh, supporting independence of like four different OPNs. No, it's just a mess. And... Oh my, I will play Sweden in Vicky. <laughs> That's kind of cringe. Because so much of the of the trade... I suppose it makes sense because of the natural current, but still. The fact that I can't do anything with this as a nation not from Europe, kind of stinky. Ah, uh, Hispania again. Just as we unlocked a new policy. Mm. Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go for manpower recovery. It's not insane, but... Okay, the second Hispanian conquest of Palawan. I wonder if they will do anything this time. Oh, they actually own... They actually colonized this piece of land. Huh. Didn't think they would make it this far. Especially not this fast. Ooh, they could... They could actually contest Australia. That's kind of cringe. I'm not sure what Hispania is doing. They're expanding a little bit into Africa. But I don't think they've done anything here. And also not here. And they're probably investing most of their resources or their attention into South America, but they're getting slapped. Yeah, they're getting slapped everywhere. But they should be so strong. They are fighting another war. Against Spain, right. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I'm fighting Spain. This is so fucking stupid. I kind of don't want to take it because it's like, like, this is way too fucking stupid to be allowed to be legal. But then again, this is, this mega campaign is just there to be, fun should be had. <clears throat> Even if I'm way too strong because of it, at the end of the day, it should just be for fun, you know. And I think it would be kind of funny. To own Brazil, Brazil, even if it's so fucking cheesy. What the fuck, man? <laughs> they want mill axes. You will not gain mill axes. Instead, you will fucking die. I'll just send you over here. And their own OPM. I will make some. The next label play. The next label play. Here we go. I'll guarantee you even, and I might just send you gold as well, because you had such a hard time just now. Send you a gift. Then we will turn you into a vassal. There we go. And you're not in the war. That's okay, because I will return this, 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 this. And uh, this, and then I will also take this, 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 this. Actually, let's not return everything. There we go. Because I kind of want the, I want to have a landing post here. Uh, instead, I'll take these two, then they can walk here and take the... Ah, this would be Malacca, that's kind of cringe. Yeah, let's take these. This way he doesn't have any access anymore. And rest, just give me gold, I guess. No. No. Are such a fucking bitch. Secret Denmark? <laughs> what? That's gotta be because of the Incans, right? <laughs> oh no, I accidentally clicked on loading the autosave. I can't. Oh no. I am such a fucking idiot. Please spank me, daddy, and punish me. It suddenly makes sense why nothing is happening in Europe. Spain sees, oh god, France is allied with someone with 200k troops. 
I'm not gonna declare on them. I cannot defeat 200k troops plus, plus France. But the thing is, they wouldn't be fighting 200k troops because... Fucking hell. Yeah, okay. At least now I know. Now I know not to use the Incan invasions. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Just, I can't wait for you 4 to be over. Like, I enjoy the game, but... Those campaigns are so goddamn long. Wow. Okay, that's gonna be kinda cringe. But, I guess... I guess the one empire that hasn't done anything the entire game... Gets to be the center of global trade and not the one power that has colonized Africa, America, Australia. <coughs> I mean, if we're being honest, Hispania should get global trade and maybe me after that. Just from a canonical standpoint, but ugh. I mean, this is EU. Ah, that's why I'm making so much. Actually, that's not. Hmm. I thought that was the case why I made so much money, but it doesn't look like it. Actually, would you look at that? The Incans would join a treaty against me. Oh, I don't like this. Um, I think I'll do this. I need to help my dear friend here, and I'll take the. Uh, Buffer state here as well. Give me gold instead. Oh, and we can finally become a kingdom. <laughs> we are still one of the great powers and <laughs> we just formed the kingdom. Declare war on these guys. Walk here. How many troops? 5k. Okay. It's 25 degrees in here. I hope I can. Oh, cool. They're attacking. I hope I can record a little bit before this place turns into Mount Doom. Alright, oh, I need to help you. Ugh. Oh, one of my colleagues from India, she did say that uh, a few days... Oh god, my ships. My ships, go to port please. Uh, she did say a while ago that her uh, it was so hot that um, their internet broke and I mean if, if that's if that's gonna happen oh my god not not because oh my god what am I gonna do without internet but like simply because like if it's that hot I mean oh my god that's gonna hurt let's put it that way it's gonna hurt there we go we are great power number two And uh, we could, uh, hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see, your opinion is negative, your opinion is negative. I just want to see if I can get someone on my board. Actually, Inca, you might be down, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the goal of the war will be to take something from Spain, if it's just colonies or, I mean, gold, gold is not fair. I want at least land or war reps. Come on, gimme, gimme. No, actually, yeah, that's fine. If they stay that way, they can't siege out. And can I vassalize someone, please? Oh, well, I mean, uh, tributaries. Thank you. There we go. We have everything. Cool. Just annex all of it. Technically. And now you are at war with this piece of land. I mean, I just don't have the troops over here. I don't even have the troops in general, but I also don't have the troops here. And then we can annex this part and then... War reps? But Tapuya will be annexed. There we go, we formed Romano. 
Nova Roma again. Actually, we haven't reformed it, it's just... It moved a little bit. Yeah. That's one way to put it. It moved. You're scared of two little troops. 2k troops you're scared of. Okay, now you should be able to siege because there's... Okay, come on. Let's do this. You guys, you guys, and I should have cobbledgeded these guys, but who cares? I'll just annex them anyway. Wait, Nova Roma still exists? How? <laughs> How do they still exist? I don't think they can run away. Yeah, they were stuck because of the fort. Let's see if we can crush them. They are stacked up, so now they can go to Poco. Oh, nice! We have... In the Cape, we have enough power now. But I don't think it really matters. Oh, it kind of matters, yeah. Stack wiped, finally! Next stop... I'm not gonna bother about all of these small islands. Next stop, indeed, is Spain. No! Wait, what? We flipped back? <laughs> we were a republic for one cycle! <laughs> we were a republic for, I think, one year. And then we uh, turned into a dictatorship and now we're back um, into a monarchy. Just without all of our reforms. Almost mainland. Well, that's the only downside of what I'm doing right now. Are you serious? I've never seen a fort go to 99%. Okay, attack. Thank you. Idiot. Oh no! No, I fuck! At the big. Ah, uh, when I got there, I was like, yeah, I need to take a port. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. We just lost the entire navy. We just lost the entire fucking navy. <laughs> but let us not worry about this fact. Instead, I will take pseudo Gib Actually, I can take Gibraltar. I cannot take Gibraltar. Yeah, I thought I couldn't take it because I don't have a fort there. But I'll take pseudo Gibraltar. I can, I can take anything but Gibraltar. Why can I not take... What? What? Give me Gibraltar. I don't think I have to understand. There we go. We own Gibraltar now. Your religion? Oh no, wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, it's getting hot in here. It's getting very hot in here. So hot that I'm being stupid. Various melee people are becoming political. National consciousness. Okay, I guess. I guess. Malaya would have been cooler. Ooh, now they even have the Byzantium colors. They are purple. 4%. <laughs> Yo. But I think the campaign will come to an end. The only thing I will do is uh, build some more ships and then let the game run probably a few more years just so we can have a bit of uh, treasury. And then we'll move on to Victoria 2. I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna play. I wanna play a mid-power, mid-tier power. Because in Vicky you can't expand that much unless you colonize. So... I'm not too sure where I'll play. I have no idea why I couldn't take Gibraltar, but I could take everything around it and then Gibraltar. Probably because I had took this piece and this piece. 
like I had this four seed chart and I took this and this and then I had bordering provinces. Anyway, this is, this is it. We're gonna move on to Victoria 2 next and then we can also finally go to Hearts of Iron because I do not like Europa Universalis. <sighs> it's just, you just always blob. I do, I do recommend playing as Austria though, like forming the HR or um, slapping your dick around in the HRE and then getting um, a PU on Bohemia, Hungary, Burgundy and even Milan, like that's just so fun.